Today, Nicole will need all her people skills to deal with a very unhappy family. My name is Justina Rossi, and I'm here today because I ordered a panina tournée. The wedding's a formal wedding. We are inviting 400. My fiance's Nicholas Vitagliano. He called and asked my dad for my hand. We'll get married in November. Justina ordered a designer panina dress months ago after trying on a sample in the salon. Panina only knows that you're here. She's never, she doesn't know anything about the situation. I just told her that the bodice is long. But when the dress came back, it was not at all what she had ordered. In fact, her dad is convinced it's not even the same dress and is ready to duke it out with the designer. Waistline's way too long. not try to talk me out of this. No, nobody's going to try to talk you out of anything. No. Nobody's, nobody's going to make you do that. So. Personally, I feel that my daughter's dress is somewhere else and with another body. The torso's long on the dress. The kick was off. The flower's missing. The color's off. And I think she'll make another dress. I think she'll make another dress. She has to make another dress. I, that's what I think. Mm -hmm. They said that Panina was coming in today, and they said to come in and try on the dress for her so that she could see the difference between the sample that I originally tried on and the dress that was made for me. I would put you in your actual dress. Okay. And then if she wants no, to see I would, you in the sample... I would put her in this first. That's okay. what I would do. You want me to put her in this first? I would put her in this first. This is like the first day we came. The first day she came, she put this dress on. Oh my God, she loved it, right? We all, we all loved it. We all went crazy. It fit her perfect. My father had his guns out. He was ready to go. It's his only girl. It's his princess. He wants it to be 100% perfect. Great. Let's get her in, in, in the okay, sample Anna. for Panina, and then we're going to swap it out and put her in her real dress. Yeah. Uh, today, I brought my family here, my mom, my dad, my brother. My brother's friend came along for the ride. We have a very close-knit family. Oh, See, that's perfect. When we came here and we tried on that dress for the first time, you know, a year ago, beautiful. We busted out crying. It was the best <laughs> day of my life. It was like when she was born. It was beautiful. Yeah. She just looked like a little angel in that dress. Is that gorgeous? Had to be prepared tonight. Now, when you see that on, it's completely right. different. I brought you Panina. All right. Panina Tournay, this is the Rossi <laughs> family. Hello. Hello. This is Hi. the nice beautiful to boy. Nice to meet you. Concerned right. father. Right. Tony has finally found a target for his frustration. Panina has no idea what's about to hit her. This is the gown that we tried on. Yes. This is my collection gown. Yes. Yes, absolutely. This is the sample. And yeah. the, you see the whole thing, the opening, yeah. and how much we love it, and the kick. Yeah. I mean, it's in the front, you mm -hmm. know, the slit, mm -hmm. and it's totally beautiful, and, and yes. just, just sits just right, and it's not under, and... Okay. Wow. And the color, yes. like, the reason why I fell in love with this was because it was like an antique ET. I love but it's antique because these dresses run around with us in, in you know, in dirt and in dust mm -hmm. because we carry them to fashion shows. For the so, bride and her family, everything becomes a, a major problem because, you know, she's only one bride for herself and for her family. For, for me as a designer, I have hundreds, and it's easier for me to flow with it. Panina, yes. is, it, is it possible that her dress is somewhere else? No. That it was made? No, no, no. If it has her number and order number, this is the dress. That looks like it's for a taller girl and a bigger girl. You'll see when it's Let, on. I'll see it on her, and if, you know, if there's anything we've done these things, I've been doing this for 16 years. We'll take care of it. I'm, I'm here and no, it's I'm my... No, I'm sure you'll take care of it. That's it's not, my that's pleasure to be here right now when okay. you need me. Okay, let's Let me try it on. You Thank you. That is not what Tony wants to hear. Nothing less than a completely new dress will satisfy him. I have faith so when people give right? me confidence, you know? And I personally didn't want to hear the same answers I heard a couple of weeks ago. But she's saying that she's... Uh, anything can be altered. Yes, that's that's not an altercation. That's a, she's, she'll be a whole new dress. She'll, she'll give her a whole new dress. Yeah. There's no way for them to cut down that bodice and cut down that ribbon. She's going to have to cut a new pattern. I think Dad was expecting Panina to come down and give him the pampering that I had given them. I just think that they need the type of person that's just going to sit down with them, you know, have a bowl of spaghetti and tell them how it is. And she didn't approach it on that level. Justina has already tried on the sample dress. Now she's demonstrating the flaws in the dress Panina made for her. This closes all the way. The other one doesn't Yes, yes. Yes, we'll do it. We'll open this. Dealing with a bride that is panicking is not easy because I know that it's not a problem, but I'm dealing here with a, with a bride that doesn't know that it's not a problem. Are you going to take this apart and try to make it look like that, or are you going to start to. from scratch? No, I am. I'm going to take this and... Trust me, right. it's going I to know come what you back do. exactly Well, then like don't this. forget this, because this is 
under here. I think they came like today with a lot of ammo. They had a very decent case. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, the dress was way too long for her. I think that there was a mistake along the way. Whether it was that she was measured too long or whether the designer added a little length to it. This is off the hip. This is comes down, it comes down but in I here. I think that's because as, it's too long. And the as kick, I said. This kick is in, right in front. Yeah, no, it's, this, it's exactly the same place, sir. It's, it's a, you know, it's a... Um, I don't know, it's off it's, to the there's side There's only there. one pattern for the dress. My there's grandfather no. was a dressmaker, and he, he'd put you on a pedestal, drape you, and cut the dress and make it, and, and I told her that, and then she kind of went, she was like, oh, she backed off. Nina, so, excuse me. Yes. What about the color? I'm seeing it whiter. Yes. It well, looks too, it, to, what I'm seeing, it's a little, it's not as soft. Yes. And Are you that's sure what you, I loved about the dress, the softness. No one you see, when you have, can I just say something? Yeah. Okay. See, when you have the contrast, this color, mm -hmm. you see all the work more. This blends. As for the color, we'll hand dye it very, very little so it can come closer to this color. Things can be changed and alterated. That's, that's what it's well, all about. Well, I don't about. want to cut it down until, like, we got three weeks to the wedding and then no, something comes in and then... No, you won't need to. It will be very quickly. Nina reassured me that you know, she will make the dress the way I want it. Thank you. Goodbye. Thanks. Thanks. Goodbye. I guess we have to wait now and see until, you know, the new dress comes. But Justina's father is not so easily convinced. Personally, I think she took it too lightly. I wanted to see her like, I wanted to see Hedgerow. Mm -hmm. Oh, stop. I really did. I did. I really don't. I did. I did. I really did. Good for you. Claudia has already made a rookie mistake by not asking Stephanie what her budget is. My budget, I haven't really discussed with my father. I try not to tell him numbers. Um, it's been under 5000 or 5000 in that ballpark. Ladies and gentlemen. That's pretty. It's pretty, but put it down. I think I could look better, to be honest. I okay. think. I just think it gives you a little extra That's that you don't need in you. here. This yeah. is what I thought I wanted. Yes. And I wanted to prove you wrong yeah, right away. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on to bigger and better things. I thought you gave her a slimming No, wrong. Really? Wrong. wrong. <laughs> Just don't know. Is that good? I like it. I know. All right, you want me to take this off? Is that what's throwing you? I'm, I'm just not liking it. Oh, okay. I learned after the first dress, I have to look at mom, you know, to catch her reaction. Because no matter what, at the end of the day, the daughter will always aim to please her mom. Too much, Ma? Is that what you're thinking? Yeah, it's too Sorry. Southern Belle type looking, too. I like you to be running though. up steps of Tara. Well, it's important to be honest about the dress because I'm afraid she'll jump into something and later on say, I don't like it. I am not liking this. Uh, movie star red carpet look, I think. What would you like more? She's going to be looking at those pictures for the rest of her life, and I don't want her to look back and be un unhappy and have her say, Mom, why didn't you tell me you didn't like that? What do you think I about think this it's too look? much of a flare. It's too much. It's too much. Too full. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to tell you what I think. <laughs> I don't like them. Oh! <gasps> I know, what? I don't. It's just what? You don't like the beading? Is that what it is? Yeah, I don't like the beading. No. no. Too shiny, too much beading. Okay, all right. We have the Your same taste. Gonna... I know. We... Not happy with the dresses Claudia is pulling, Stephanie's mother and sister take matters into their own hands. I think she's gonna like this one. No, I don't okay. like that. But, would she like it? I'm sorry. <laughs> When I see a customer start to pull dresses, it could mean that that particular consultant is losing control of the sale. She might not be able to communicate or she's not listening to the customer. And that means it's time for me to go in and see exactly why this customer is pulling dresses. Too shiny. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> I can see if they can do it in a different fabric. Too shiny, the satin. This. OK. I'm Elise, by the way. Hi. I work here, Stephanie. so they tell me. OK, <laughs> okay. Stephanie. All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to pull right. the Claudia. I'll be, back. I'll be okay. right okay. back. Second rookie mistake, not introducing the manager. I don't know why Elise came in. Maybe Elise thought, Claudia's not getting it. Damn it, I need to step in. You, you, I don't know what you got. You got a mishmash in there. Well, look, the first The time... wedding is at night. You got you got Dora, that's an afternoon dress. Well, that that's the mother picking. Okay, so then, okay, but then let's take back control of the sale. 
a newer girl, it could be falling apart in there. And they don't want to let a manager know because they feel that, oh, it's my fault. I don't want them to think that uh, I'm coming to them for every little thing. Lace, what about show. price point? You got a price point uh, on her? You guessing or open. you know? No, I don't know 100%. You didn't ask them? No. I didn't. OK. How could you not know the price point? That's a huge window. We have 1,700 dresses in this store, anywhere from $1,100 to $30,000, and maybe even more. Depend now I realize why she was getting herself in a little bit of trouble there with them. Elise is not happy Claudia has lost control of the sale. And to make matters worse, she doesn't even know the bride's budget. I always mention prices. It's never a mystery. I just have this inner sense. And I knew that when the dad was asking me, I was giving him clues all along. Should I go and put the Dora on in the meantime? Stick Dora on, I'll pull. OK. Go ahead, stick Dora right. on. Because I know, I, I doubt that's going to fly. But she liked the Dora when wrong. the mom brought it, because right, it has that couture look. Very prissy. Yeah, OK, 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 OK. While Elise looks for more dresses, Claudia helps Stephanie try on the dress her mother picked. I was getting closer to my look now. Still, I felt it wasn't perfect. OK, we're getting Slightly there. We're getting closer. We are. We're getting closer. I love it. It's one of my favorite gowns. Claude, honey. But I wouldn't have, from what you Okay. I got a couple for you. I was very zen about the whole thing. Elise, sure, bring those gowns in there. Yes, she'll like them. Deep breath. So you do the polka dot and then. And I'll then, these yeah, two. you'll come in for the Lazar okay. and Monique. Yeah. I think this is going to be spectacular. Spectacular. Sometimes you gotta trust the boss. I don't like them. <laughs> I don't Let's like see. them. Not that one at all. Not liking any of the dresses Elise selected, Stephanie is determined to try on her mother's second choice. This, I didn't bring it, so. <laughs> Finally, the last one, the polka dots and the sweetheart top. It was just perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. Perfect. Okay, let Can it I go. Out. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Yay! Ooh. Ooh. I like this one. That. Yay! That's very Yay. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. It's pretty. <laughs> yeah, me And who picked pretty. this one, may I ask? Who did? <laughs> Mama did, right? Oh, we both did. Did you? you no. Did. No. And, you know, I don't usually, I've, I've never encouraged um, a mom or a friend to go out and, and pick out gowns. Um, in this situation, it worked perfect. The mother made the sale. The mother pulled the right dress. Ultimately, it's fine. I mean, it doesn't matter who pulls it, but I would have preferred that the consultant pull the right dress. I just knew when she had that dress on, that's, um, that's the dress my little girl's going to get married in. This is what you needed all along. Slimming. <laughs> Slim goal. That's one of the goals. Well, this is it. She's not taking this dress off. Uh, yeah. I don't think I am. <laughs> Stacy Cos has been trying on dresses, but the one she likes most is on another bride. I had the lace, the sparkle, the corset. The sparkle is perfect. It was perfect. Do you know the young lady that was, I don't want to pull the dress off of her. Oh, we want to. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. But, um, um, you know, if I have to, I'll get one of the managers. No, I won't get it. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll bring in something else uh, and then also request from the other consultant. Oh, I like this. What do you think? Mm. It's beautiful. And what do you like about this? Sparkles. Yeah. <laughs> Sparkle. It's a lot more you. I like the a lot train. More you. The train. train. Yeah, I like the. But still a little too boring. Yes. In the front. Okay. Yes, I'm kind of. <laughs> okay. Too boring. <laughs> okay. Good. All right. Next. Stacy is anxious to get out of dress two because she knows that on the other side of the selling floor is the dress that might be the one. She had another client trying it on as well, and I just waited. I was patient. Keisha knows that a bride can become less inclined to buy the longer they wait, so she grabs a lease to see if a manager can move things along. She's giving, I'm just telling her the price. I'll be going to the second. We don't have another one on sale. That's what no. I said. No. I'm sure I'm positive. Is she in love with it, your bud? This one? Yeah. Did, you, did she see it? Yeah, she wants yeah, to Yeah, she's it. probably going to do it. That's what I'm saying. I'm okay. not going to All right. Stephanie just felt that if she would have taken the dress off of her bride, 
she would have lost the sale. I said to her, if the shoe was on the other foot, what would you want to do to me? And she said, I would want to kill you. So with the dress still on the other bride, Keisha tries to placate the family. Elise asks Stephanie to hurry it up, and Stacy waits. Stacy's quest for her dream dress is turning into a nightmare for Keisha. She has to try to get the dress from another consultant whose bride has been wearing it for an hour now. Okay, so training 101, we are to know within a half an hour, that's what they say. But I can't it doesn't always. Ryan, I know. can't like rip it off her. Is she aware that two brides are waiting for her? No. Okay, so maybe you should just say that. Or I'll, I'll be done in a second. Two other brides waiting. It's been a long day for Stacy Cause, but Keisha finally has some good news. Okay, so here is the dress. Okay, thank God oh, for the dress. You did a good job. Oh, God. <laughs> when I put the gown on her, her face just lit up. Are you saying that it was worth the wait? Yes, it was. All right. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> And that's the kind of expression you want from your bride. Okay. Finally! Oh. I knew it. You know, I was like, yes! Home run. My name is Karen Altnew. I'm here for my first dress fitting. I walked into the dressing room, really thought it was somebody else's room that I was going into because I just didn't recognize the dress. I was a little upset, and I was definitely holding back tears. See, we're sitting here acting like we're calm. We really want to cry. <laughs> Obviously, I'm feeling overwhelmed. You know, you plan things well. My daughter's a very big planner, so everything is just arranged and then this was just supposed to be a routine thing before the final fitting i'm thinking how could a big store mess something up like that she came in and we brought her dress out um she seemed to remember it looking different i try to pull the sample to show her and compare it. Lisa came upstairs and, and requested a picture of a sample because the bride downstairs on a special order said that it wasn't the dress. I printed pictures to compare it to the dress that she had on. And as the pictures were coming out of the machine, she was getting happier and happier because she realized it was the right dress. OK, I have the pictures here. She came back with pictures of what the sample should have looked like. Um, but the sample dress that she had pictures of still wasn't the dress that I had thought I tried on. This is from far away. This is the dress. But this is not what the dress that I tried then on I, looked. I need to call Elise to come down. It was not the speeding. So but this, this is, is not, the sample. But that's not no, what I tried on. Because it wasn't the speeding. This is our dress. It's not, it's not the same dress that you tried on. We go by numbers, and that's the only sample that I would have in the store. Maybe somebody wrote the wrong number that's really oh, not the that? dress. When they took your measurements and they wrote the order, this, and you got a copy of this, which dress did you have on? Do you remember? Did you have this dress on? No, not or this the exact other one? dress. It was, well, the one I thought I was ordering. You said there were two dresses she in the room. She was actually wearing two dresses. They took two dresses, they put one on top of the other. She had two dresses on? Yes. yes. <laughs> At the same time yes. when they were measuring? Yes. yes. I need to get a list. <laughs> Hello? Is Elise around? I need her down here. I'm trying to what see one? the sample was sold and it's still here. Oh, I don't know where the sample is. I'm going to run up and look and okay. see if I can find right. it. I'll be right back. Let me... Where's Daniela? Where Where are the MOS dresses? They were shipped out to Virginia. Unfortunately, the sample left the store and it's gone and we can't get it back. They were shipped out on Wednesday. So that means that we'll have to just get the actual designer sample, which will be the same. OK, so tell me what you think it looked like. It was very similar. The dress I tried on was this high in the back, but I wasn't comfortable with that. I wanted it higher. And also, the beading was at this height, but it was a, it didn't have these little fans up top. It was just they a. They try to 
show us that the back could be raised, that the waist would be dropped. But you want the back higher. Yeah. Well, then it, it, it should have been like more than two and a half inches. Well, the thing is, the picture that but shows the what, back was right. Like, was, if that back? wasn't the back I tried on. Here. The back is low. That was not, not the, the back. That was not the same back that I had just tried on. Everybody was just coming together and doing the best they can. So was it frustrating? Very. Are we a little tense? Definitely. It was a long time ago. I mean, we remember, but you have so many clients. Is Carol was actually trying on two dresses at the same time. There was a dress that she loved. Right. And that had the waist over here. And then there was another with a dropped waist. So she had on the dress over it so you could see where the dropped yeah, waist was. Right. Would so come. we measured that. Right. Exactly. Okay. I okay, but there was only one other dress I know, if she liked that one, would have been in the room. The only yeah, other thing I can think of is if she had where there is another dress that is similar to this dress, but it's an Aunt Barge. So I ran upstairs to get it because I thought maybe she's confusing the dress she didn't buy with the dress that she got. She doesn't think it's her dress right now. It is her dress. But I think she had another designer, and I have a feeling this was the dress that she had on. How do I remember this stuff? I do not know. Where's Nitsa? Uh, she's in but the This is the dress, I think. No, definitely not. OK. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's panic because you wait nine months to see a dress. She just wanted to walk in and have it be... See? It's just really disappointing. You might have had this in the room, tried it on, and not liked it. Yes. The I only think thing I did is, try it on yeah, it because it because, had yes. like the bottom. It's one of the only dresses that we have that has trim. beading on the bottom. Yeah, that, I mean... I mean, three of us didn't remember it didn't it didn't have the little fans. <laughs> You know, but the picture that we have has it the has, little fans. Has, exactly. They weren't really understanding that the picture that they saw wasn't the dress that I had tried on. You think I you won't. remembered it without the fans and it went like that? And it was just a little narrow. And let me get the sample. sample. Is She's, that going to be another day? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because I have to call Tuesday. Yeah. See uh, if the sample is in the store, I can pick it up, or yeah, it's at a trunk, so they have to ship it to me. The sample that I'm going to bring in from the designer I am almost sure that it's going to be the same, but I have to bring it in just to ease the bride's mind. You would want that back cut even higher? Yes. Oh boy. So that it covers my bra? OK, babe. Let's look in the mirror. I do feel like I'm kind of going a little crazy. You're looking at it for so long, and people are trying to make you say, well, no, 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 this is the dress. See, it is up that to the bra. That back goes higher. It is up to the bra, babe. And I'm just really wondering if this is actually the dress, and I'm just forgot about it. That's is this I, yeah. the dress? Are we nuts? When she saw the hem lacing getting pinned on the bottom, I knew right then and there I had them. You know what? Sometimes you get embarrassed. You know, she's got a father there, her mother there, her sister there. She's going to have to hold on to that story. It's, it's just, it's, it's just it's the, the trim. The trim didn't look familiar. The That's color, the, only the shape, thing. and now that it's Yeah, now you can see that it's sitting where it's supposed to sit. A bride comes in six months ago or a year ago and orders a dress. She tries on 10, 20 dresses. Sometimes she remembers something different. Sometimes it's a little confusing. I really don't like the little so fans, like little but I, I swear the sport. trim was just straight. So would you want the little fans off it? You can have the little fans off it. <laughs> Thank it you. Such a dramatic, wasn't it? <laughs> we had a moment. Amy's back from lunch to try on her two favorite dresses, but has some disappointing news for Claudia. The first thing she told me was, I'm feeling pressured. I don't think I'm going to buy a dress today. That was the biggest disappointment. I mean, I can't help but not take it personally. Then why did you come back? I didn't want to have to decide today. It's my first day out. I don't like pressure. I want to be able to walk away and come back. I'm not here to entertain anybody. We're all working. This is not a fun, exciting, you know, yes, it's their fantasy, but it's not mine. What seems so promising is quickly going downhill. I wish I were this tall. Well, I'm going to give you a couple it? of minutes. I'll be back in yeah, a second, OK? You. I had missed two other appointments. I left my whole day open to Amy. She's afraid to love it too much. That's what it is. <laughs> I can't understand why she would feel any pressure from me, because that's not how I work. Well, I should take it off, put on my clothes, and I can decide. Well, no. You have to decide now only because oh. we would have to take your measurements with it on. I'll walk oh. around the corner one more time. If she felt pressured, uh, maybe you're not ready to make a decision yet. I don't know what to do. I love it, but I don't know if I feel $4,000 plus. 
Amy's ready to try on the other dress she came back to see, but Claudia has hit a roadblock. Vivian, one of the consultants that I worked with, was with a bride, and the bride is wearing Amy's dress, the lace gown. So I said to Amy, we're gonna have to wait a little bit because, uh, you know, somebody else has the gown. I said, Vivian, please. When your bride is, is done, is she gonna be a lot longer in that dress when she's done? Can I see it? And she said, okay, okay, when she's done with it, okay, when she's done with it. I am in the mirror with Amy, I'm thinking all oh, the whole time, Vivian, okay, she, I hope she's done. I'm buying us time. I think Vivian is just about done with it. I open the door to Vivian's room and I see the dress hanging by itself. Hmm, what should I do? Time is ticking. Amy's waiting for her gown, so quick. I take the dress out and I tell Amy, I have the dress, let's try it on quickly. Let's put it on now. And out of the woodwork comes Vivian. Oh, no, this is my favorite. Vivian. Vivian. Right now. That's the dress, that's my bride's dress. You gotta have to take it off. Really? Yeah, because you took it out of my room. Okay. I, I you thought you finished. Me? Okay. No. Take it off, you know, immediately, I need it. Well, but I'll do it, uh, it in two seconds. Though. Two seconds. <laughs> Two seconds. We'll hurry. Because she already put that one on, and I'm doing this, okay. and I promise. I found that annoying. I don't really need to stand there and feel guilty, especially if I'm considering spending a great deal of money. I'm tired of All right. And that might have swayed me a little bit. That's inappropriate. So I think that was a really, that must have left a bad taste in her mouth. Unhappy with the way Vivian treated her bride, Claudia tries to find a manager. Somebody has to do something. Because but so does Vivian. Vivian is complaining to Joan about, you know, how she's been victimized or whatever. I told her in advance, but I thought the bride was finished. There are two brides interested in a dress, and there's one dress, so there becomes a battle over it. Yeah. Okay. Why not get the whole staff involved? The consultants cannot go attacking each other. The consultant must come to the manager. I told Joan, I said, look, there isn't anything that I could have done better. I was in a situation. I already told Vivian, I'm gonna take that damn dress out of the room for two minutes and I'm gonna give it back to her. Tough. I wish I could have had a little bit more understanding and support. I'm patient, but I, I, I have a limit too. So I don't, I don't stand for much more testing. For a few hours, it looked like Claudia would redeem herself, but no such luck. This may be the last time you see this. I gave her a budget and she showed me the top. So I'm ending up at the top of my budget. So I need to go away and think about it a little bit. At the end of the day, I'm not there to pressure anybody. I'm not there to compromise someone into making the wrong decision. I'm here to do my job. No sale for Claudia.